Let's revisit the situation presented by our friend Sam. When I'm on the metro and the person next to me is having a really loud personal conversation, I just pretend not to listen. I can hear every word, but I act like it's not happening. I wish they would be more respectful of the rest of us that have to listen to it. Let's take a closer look at Sam's complaint. Public transportation always seems to encourage a strong use of what Goffman would call tact. Sam and her fellow passengers are in pretty close proximity to each other, but part of being or giving off the image of being a good passenger is not interacting much with other people on the train. Apart from extreme situations like a medical emergency, metro passengers are most likely to stay within their own personal bubbles. If one passenger has a bad cough, or maybe laughs loudly at an incoming text message, the rest of the car utilizes tact so that the person who has made the disruption can smoothly return to their intended performance as a passenger. Using tact could include feigning ignorance and or avoiding eye contact, as we see Sam doing. So Sam's neighbor is causing a very long, continuous disruption by carrying on a loud private conversation in the train car. Kind of awkward, right? Sam has to keep on looking disinterested if she doesn't want to cause a scene and call out the person next to her for disrupting her commute. This is a more modern example of what Goffman called tactful inattention. But how long can she keep up this act of politely ignoring the cell phone user? Would you tell them to shut up, or sit in an annoyed silence like Sam, quietly praying that the next stop comes soon so that you don't have to listen to this person talk about their personal life anymore? Before cell phones became popular, most of these types of conversations were held in a more private back region, like a closed office or a bedroom, where no one was likely to hear them. But now situations like the one Sam finds herself in is pretty common. <laughs>